Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this video is the part 2 of the creative ways to edit your Instagram stories without leaving the application video and without further introduction, let's go ahead and start. So this is a photo of me in a flower farm in Taichung, Taiwan and I'm gonna write Taichung with spaces in between the letters and I'm gonna be using the classic font putting it in the center. Now I'm gonna color the text using the ink chopper using the color found on the photo which is blue. Now I'm writing Taichung again with spaces in between the letters but this time I'm gonna be using the neon font and coloring it using the ink chopper as well. I'm choosing the orange color to give it the teal and orange effect and I'm gonna place it just below the first Taichung text. And for the last part, I'm going to be writing the specific location which is the flower farm using the typewriter font again with spaces in between the letters. The spaces between the letters really makes a huge difference for aesthetic purposes. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of design on the sides and that's it. The next photo is a rainbow pagoda in Kaohsiung and I'm going to use a different technique. I'm going to draw a rainbow around me and I'm going to be using three different colors. I'm gonna make sure I'm doing it right. Just click undo if you don't like the first try and then draw again until you think it's good enough. Though it doesn't need to be perfect so you still have that doodle or scribble effect. Once you're done with the rainbow drawing you can now do the next part. So I'll be writing a rainbow text letter by letter with border and using the ink chopper I'm coloring the boxes using the rainbow colors in the photo. Then I'm going to repeat the process until the rainbow text is complete. And I'm placing the text through the arc of the rainbow that I just draw. I'm just gonna arrange the rainbow text on the rainbow arc evenly and then using the pen and the white ink, I'm gonna be writing pagoda to complete the rainbow pagoda location tag. Just use your finger to write it and then you're all set. This is a photo of my morning coffee and this technique is very simple yet really creative. So I'm going to draw a steam line effect using the pen and the white ink and using the eraser I'll create a dotted line effect to make it look like a coffee steam. Now using the highlighter pen I'm going to create a text background and I'm going to place the word coffee on top of it and then the word time with border below it both having the coffee color shape. It's coffee time! Next is for you students out there, you can creatively post your study routine on your IG story using this technique. All you have to do is to make a straight line and you can do this using the typewriter font. Color it blue, then place it on top of your working pad or any writing materials that you have. And then create another one and this time make it red. And then make another blue line, this is to mimic the classic school paper pad. Next is to write something that you're working on, it could be a homework, a school project, or whatever it is that you're doing. But for this one, I'm gonna be writing study time. Go ahead and arrange the lines based on the text size that you want. And when you are happy about it, go and find a GIF that fits your theme. So for this one, I'm searching for a pencil. And I'm gonna put it just beside the study time so that it would look like I just wrote study time. Mm -hmm. 
Now for this Christmas theme, I will be doing the same technique with the lines and I'm going to make it red for Christmas and I'm going to place it down below. I'm going to be making two lines as the border. And then I'm writing Merry Christmas with spaces in between letters but I'm going to overlap the two words to give it a style. That's why I'm writing it separately. And I'm also going to be using two different Christmas colors which are green and red. Now it's time to design it with Christmas chiefs, so I'm going to be putting two Christmas ornaments on the side of Merry Christmas. And lastly, using the glow pen, I'm going to be tracing the Christmas trees to make it glow even more. Merry Christmas! And for this New Year greeting post, I'm just gonna use three different fonts to give it a unique style. This is very simple but unique and easy to do. And for the design, I'm just going to trace the size of the drinks using the normal pen to give it a comic look. Again, very simple and easy to do, but the complete look will be very unique. Happy New Year! Now share your new post to your ID story, you can resize it any way you want and to change the background color you can use the normal pen and then press and hold on any color then slide your finger to your preferred color theme. Once you've picked one you can release your finger and then press and hold anywhere in the background and it will fill up the entire background with the color that you've chosen. Now I'm going to be writing new post, new post, new post and I'm going to be using this as the frame or the border of the photo. And just add a tap here GIF so that your followers can check out your new posts. And for this last one, I just used the original photo of my new post from my photo gallery. And I'm doing the same technique to fill up the background. This time, it will cover up the entire photo. Now, using the eraser, erase a portion of the color to reveal a part of the photo, giving your followers a sneak peek of your new post. And then using the eraser, just write new post.
and that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as i will be making more posts like this and make sure to turn on the bell notification on so that you're always notified whenever i have a new video also follow me on my instagram account at itsalvin with double a see you guys again on my next video bye